Hello, Premium Bible fans. Uh, Max here again, and I just wanted to uh, do another quick update on the um, Skyler New American Standard Thin Line version that just came out. Um, as you know, I posted, as you probably know, I posted a review on this um, Bible or a first look right when I got out of the box just about a week ago. And um, I wanted to say thank you to all the people who uh, provided such great comments, such positive feedback, um, plenty of thumbs up, and really just actually watch the video. I've never done something like this before and I was really encouraged and um, just flattered by the, the comments and the appreciation for that. So thank you so much for that. It's very encouraging and I, I may actually do some more videos uh, because of that. Uh, we'll see. Um, but what I wanted to do today is just um, provide a quick update now that I've had the Bible for a week. Again, as I mentioned, I just opened the box and it was my first look at it last time. So I really hadn't lived with it. Uh, what I wanted to do today is just share with you my impressions after having it for a week. Um, again, if you're thinking about purchasing this, purchasing this Bible, or maybe it's um, you know something that's on your wish list, um, just to give you an idea um, what it's like. So um, I can say overall, uh, very still very very pleased with the Bible. Uh, as you probably saw in my original review, I just really enjoyed it. Um, thought it was really beautiful coming out of the box, and I still feel that way. Um, but I've had a chance to kind of read out of it, take it to church, um, and wanted to give you some of my impressions of that. So. Um, one thing I do want to point out, and one thing I wanted to spend pretty much most of the time talking about in the short video is, um, you know, something called ghosting. And you know, we, if you're familiar with familiar with Bibles, you look at some of the reviews, you know, you know what I'm talking about. But what ghosting is is, for those of you who don't know, you can see kind of the other side of the page here um, when it's um, when you're on the, the the page you're reading, you can see kind of the back of the the page before you uh, back of the next page. Excuse me, that's called ghosting. Now, with any thin line, with any thin paper. You're going to have that, right? So if you don't want that, you don't want to deal with that, then you need very, very thick paper, which makes for a really thick, heavy Bible, therefore defeating the purpose of a thin line Bible, right? So these are all trade-offs. So this is the one thing that um, I would say to you know think about with this Bible. Um, for me, I'm actually not bothered by it, again, because it's a trade-off. I know that because I want a smaller Bible, I, I'm going to have to deal with that. Uh, but what I, the tip I wanted to point out is you can see, again, so you open up the page, you'll see a good deal of ghosting. It is line matched. Now, line matching does help to make it less distracting and uh, certainly helps quite a bit. But you can see, and, um, you know, being in kind of a, a little bit less um, condensed wording here makes it more prevalent, but uh, really not that bad. But what I wanted to say is that what I've noticed is if you open a page and you see that ghosting and it kind of bothers you, if you just sort of lift the page up a little bit as you're reading it and then go back to it, it gets a lot less. You can kind of see that right there. It's probably hard to do on camera, but if you're reading it, you just kind of pop that page up a little bit um, and it'll then reduce the ghosting just to that page. Now, some of this may be because it's a very new Bible and as it wears in, that'll get better and better. So I just want to point that out again. I don't think it's a really an issue because again, you're making a trade-off, but um, you know, just something to be aware of. And again, I, I think over time it will uh, get better. Uh, really not a reason not to get this Bible, just something that you want to you know, be cognizant of. Again, and the line matching really is an important thing to do uh, for a thin, a thin paper like this. The other thing I want to talk about is the font size. So again, um, in my previous video, I mentioned that um, I had Pitt Minion before this. Um, we'll still have it um, in an NIV format. And I, um, I really um, enjoy that, that Bible. It was beautiful, you know, very nice, compact, great print, uh, very readable with a lot of light uh, and reading kind of close up. But um, what I mentioned there too is that without dim lighting, you really can't read it. Um, and it, you kind of almost feel like you sort of read with your head hunched down so you can see the wording. This is very, very different experience. This lettering is, I, after I kind of had the Bible for a couple days, I said, man, this, this, this may be a little bit too big for me. Uh, I thought, you know, maybe I went a little bit too large in the font size, but I gotta tell you, um, you know, sitting in a church pew, kind of reading it from a, a distance on your lap, uh, reading it at night, uh, really, it's it's really um, beneficial to have this larger view. So I really enjoy that. I really appreciate that, and I'm glad I did it. Um, I was kind of used to the smaller size in Pit Minion, but you know, uh, quickly got over that and, and really appreciate the size of the print on this Bible. The other thing I want to cover too is just size and, and ability to carry it. Um, for me, this is a pretty good size um, Bible. I, I'm certainly able to handle it. I'm a pretty I'm a bigger guy. I've got big hands, so for me carrying this. Uh, feels pretty natural. It feels a little bit bigger than, um, you know, if I had to create my perfect Bible, it's maybe a little bit bigger than I want, but it's certainly doable. If you have smaller hands, um, this may be a little bit much for taking to church and carrying with you. Maybe better just for a reading at home Bible. 
um, that's certainly a possibility. But you know, as far as holding it with one hand, um, you know, that's certainly very comfortable. Um, my hands do slide a little bit on the leather, but I anticipate that may um, that may improve over time as well. But um, not too bad. I can kind of manage it. So if I wanted to kind of read it by holding it up, uh, very very comfortable. So um, all in all, I really I'm really still very pleased with this Bible. Um, I um, I've been using it now for about a week. Took it to church. I didn't take it last week in the church. Uh, the weekend before this, because I chickened out. There was a little bit of rain forecasted, and I was really nervous about getting this thing uh, wet and um, you know uh, ruining the uh, the red edging here, or at least putting some water spots on it. So I chickened out. Um, that is one thing to consider if you're moving into a, a premium Bible. You've never had one before. Um, you know you worry about them a little bit more. Um, whereas if you have this you know forty dollar thirty dollar Bible, you can just grab it and read it, and not worry about it banging it up and getting a little bit wet. Um, when you spend 200 bucks on the Bible, you, you worry about it. Um, so, but it's it's also a really nice, fantastic thing to have, really comfortable to read and really enjoyable. So uh, don't let that deter you. Uh, I want to thank you guys again. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, I forgot to mention that in the last one. And you know, if you, if you like what I have to say, you like my um, um, video here, uh, feel free to subscribe as well. Again, I, like I said, I may be putting out some more videos um, and uh, certainly me, any feedback would be very appreciated. Uh, again, I'm new at this, but um, I hope this is helpful for you. Um, and I hope if you're thinking about this Bible that you, um, you know, you consider it. Um, I'm really enjoying the NASB translation, really enjoying this Bible. And I, I couldn't say enough to recommend the Schuyler uh, New American Standard uh, version, uh, Thinline. Uh, it's really uh, an awesome Bible, and I hope you enjoy it. It is up to now $200, I think. They've removed the pre-order price, so a little pricey, but also really a lot of cool... Um, different styles of leather. I think somebody in my video mentioned that they're getting a red one. Uh, that's kind of cool. I, the blue looks really neat. So, you know, conversely, if you guys have these things, hey, shoot, shoot, you know, shoot a video and, and let us see some of the other colors as well. I didn't see a lot of videos out there, but uh, hopefully this will encourage more of you to make a few. All right, guys, take care.